Hi everyone, this is Sylvia. Welcome back to my lifestyle channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys or share with you guys what products I finished over the last couple of months. So I haven't done an empties video for a really, really long time. So I have accumulated quite a few products and many of them are skincare. I have some hair care products, I have some body products and also a couple of makeup products. So if you enjoy watching these types of videos just as much as I do, then keep on watching. So the first product I want to talk about is my shower gel. I've been using for quite some time actually because when I bought this from Amazon, I bought a six pack. So this is actually the last one I'm finishing up. It's from Dove. It's a, the deep moisture and it claims to nourish the driest skin, which I believe it does. It um, nourishes dry skin pretty well. I'm not sure how well it does on the driest skin because my skin is dry, but not the driest. This is a really nice uh, shower gel. So this bottle is made out of 100% recycled material. It's cruelty free. It also says that this is enhanced with skin natural lipids. It also restores the skin's strength from the inside. So this is a, a pretty decent um, shower gel. It does moisturize. Um, I've enjoyed using this. Uh, like I said, this is this was my last bottle out of six. So I have switched up my shower routine a little bit and I'm using a different product right now, but it's not because I didn't like this one. It's because I, want, I simply wanted to try something new. It does not have any scent to it, at least nothing I could detect. Check again. Well, maybe slightly, very subtly scent. I couldn't tell you what this is supposed to smell like, but... This is really good. Number one, recommended by dermatologists and also recommended by me, if you care. Another product I've been using in the shower since I moved to Utah last summer is this uh, baby oil by Johnson & Johnson. So um, it says that it locks in up to 10 times more moisture. So everybody is familiar with uh, baby oil, right? It's very soft, it has no parabens or no dyes. And it says it provides gentle moisturization for soft, smooth skin. It's hypoallergenic and tested with dermatologists. Um, the reason why I've been using this, so basically what I so basically what I've been doing is first I washed my body with this, and then I just threw on a bunch of baby oil on top, and I did not rinse off the baby oil. I got out of the shower. I just very slightly tapped my skin dry with a towel so I wouldn't rub this off, and I just let it soak into my skin. So this is very good if you live in a if you if you live in a dry climate or if you have extremely dry skin, baby oil is a great way to provide some extra moisture to your skin. Product, body product number three. This is from Adino Daily Moisturizer. It nourishes dry skin as well. It's clinically proven. Um, it's been uh, clinically proven that you get healthier looking skin in just one day. I'm always a little bit suspicious about claims like that. I couldn't really say if my skin looked better after just one application, but this was a very nice lotion. It's, it's with soothing oat and rich emollients, fragrance free if you're sensitive to fragrance. This is a really great body lotion. I like the fact that it has oatmeal in it because this is also some somewhat anti-aging a little bit. Um, for creepy skin and things like that. So this is great as well. So I really liked all of my body products this month. Let's move on to my very last body product. And this is a, a shaving cream by Elba Botanica. Very emollient cream shave in the scent Mango Vanilla. It's soothing and smoothing for normal and dry skin. No parabens and um, no synthetic fragrances. 100% vegetarian ingredients. So, um, yeah, this was really nice too, very soft. Um, I enjoyed, <laughs> I really, I'm not really sure if I have any flops this month. Um, but this is, all, this was also a great body product. Um, I really enjoyed using this as my shaving cream. 
I would definitely buy this again. It's uh, I, I loved the scent of mango vanilla. It's it's subtle. It's not extreme. This was very creamy, very smoothing, very gentle on my skin, and it really protected my skin from um, getting those nasty um, those bumps from shaving. So th this is a great shaving cream. Can recommend this as well. Now, moving on to a skincare product, I tried this uh, exfoliating glycolic scrub from Nip and Fab for the first time. Uh, and I felt like it was also pretty decent. So, so the main ingredients on this I, are um, salicy salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and AHA, BHA. So this is an exfoliating facial cleanser and um, it claims to refine pores and also is a little bit of skin brightening. So, so you basically get a, a triple action on here. You can cleanse your skin, you can exfoliate your skin, and it also has a brightening effect. It's, um, it's very gentle. It's a gentle exfoliator. It's not very rough on the skin. And it also removes dirt from the skin. So it does a good job at cleansing your skin. And it says that it doesn't strip the skin. So I found this to be true as well. It's, you don't get the stripping effect. So it's really very gentle on the skin. I like the fact that you can also use it as a cleanser, but I still um, used another cleanser, but I, got, I felt like I got this double cleansing effect whenever I was using this. It does have salicylic acid for refining the pores. And um, yeah, it also has glycolic acid, 3% glycolic acid, which means that it resurfaces with this glycolic acid and it polishes your skin. So I felt like this was a really nice exfoliator. I will probably buy it again. It's 75 milliliters or 2.5 ounces. Um, yeah, I haven't repurchased it, but I probably will. Then I finished a toner from Pharmacy. So this is a deep, it's called Deep Sweep. It has 2% BHA. It's also a pore cleaning toner. You know, I'm very particular about my pore size because I feel like they're too big. So I always try to purchase products that do something for my pores or at least claim to do something for my pores. I actually think this really works. So it's a good toner. It's with Moringa and Papaya. And um, I really felt like it did a good job cleaning my pores. It's alcohol free. Uh, like I said, 2% BHA toner that gently exfoliates, cleans pores and control, controls oils without ever stripping the skin. This is very nice, enjoyed this as well. So you're probably wondering if I have any fails or any flops in my basket at all. Well, you keep wondering and I'll let you know. So next, I want to come to a couple of masks that I've been trying out. So the first one is this, the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin. So this is a dark charcoal paper mask. Show you again. It's detoxifying. It removes your impurities um, to get deep, clean skin. What I noticed about this mask is that it stings a little bit. So I don't have extremely sensitive skin. I'm not... Um, someone with sensitive skin. I, I think I have pretty normal skin, but this actually, um, putting this on my skin actually stung a little bit. I felt like it did detoxify maybe a little bit. How do you, how do I know that? Well, first of all, I like to believe that the stinging meant something, right? It, it, it means that something was working. And I also felt like my, my skin, um, after, after using this mask that my skin felt kind of fresher and cleaner and like it did something to it. So, but you're supposed to, this is a pack of 10 and you're supposed to use one of these every day, which I didn't do. I used one every two to three days. So I think if you can leave the, the charcoal mask on for about 10 minutes and you do this every day, then this may actually work better. But it wasn't a bad mask. It says it's 96% um, with natural ingredients. So it, it was an interesting mask. Um, what I found is it's not moisturizing, okay? So this, this is one of the things this mask does not do. It does not moisturize. In fact, 
after 10 minutes, your mask is pretty, pretty dry. This paper mask is like completely dry. There's nothing left in the mask. And I think you're only supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes anyway. Yes. So yeah, this is not a moisturizing mask. It's a detoxing mask. So this, if this is something you want to do to your skin, you may want to give this a try. Another mask um, I used this past month was a collagen nutrition mask sheet. So I've been using these for a pretty long time. I bought a pretty huge pack of these and I still have just have some. It's, um, I think the brand it's called, it's Skin. And this contains hydrolyzed collagen. It provides skin's natural elasticity to create dewy skin with a healthy glow. So this is a most moisturizing mask. It's um, something you could use after that tomato mask or just use this on a different day. Like I said, I didn't use those tomato masks every day. So I, I very often used just the tomato mask for one day, for just one day, and then the next day I use a hydrating mask. So these collagen masks are really good. And by the way, uh, as always, I will list and link all the products down below in case you want to look them up and read a little bit more about them, or maybe you even want to purchase them and give them a try. So the next product I want to talk about is this mask, another mask from My Masky. Well, it's not really a mask. It's actually a moisture boost, a vitamin boost. It's feeding, nourishing, and firming. It's fragrance free and it's pH balance. And this, it claims to reduce dark circles. So I've been using this after my microneedling treatments just to calm down my skin. But this is actually an, supposed to be an eye serum. So you're supposed to apply it around your eyes and um, it will reduce dark circles. But since I don't have a lot of dark circles, I have a lot of other under eye problems, but not dark circles so much. I just use this after my, as an after treatment for whenever I did a microneedling treatment. Um, not bad, not bad. I'm not necessarily going to um, go out of my way to buy this again, but if you want to give this a try, go ahead. I will link it down below. So the next two products I want to talk about are from Tatcha, and these are just sample sizes, as you can tell. I got these from Sephora as my, as my birthday present. Um, and I finished them and I really enjoyed them. I think the, the cleanser, so this is a rice wash. It's a soft cream cleanser and it does a great job cleansing your skin. It's very gentle on the skin. So I really enjoyed using this. So I did like this. Uh, I may want to buy the full size uh, once Sephora has a sale again, a VIP sale. Then I might, may actually buy the full size of this cleanser. It's a very nice cleanser. So. It came with this cream, with the dewy skin cream, the dewy skin cream from Tatcha. So this also uh, is a replenishing Japanese purple rice for dry skin. So both of these products are for dry skin. And um, I used this. There was really not very much in it, but it was just a little sample. But I, I, I used this as my... Um, as my uh, as my night cream actually which was a little bit light i prefer something a little bit heavier at night just to give my skin like some really rich treatment for the night because during the day i obviously don't want to do that but this would be a good day cream i think it's maybe better for during the day but it's, it's nice okay so yeah i have a lot of products this month so this is from 10 lux the super glow and it's a hyaluronic self tan serum um, so it says to apply 12 drops directly to the skin and then you massage it in circular motions. And I did that. Um, do I think that it was self tanning? No, I didn't, couldn't really tell a difference, but I was using this during the summer when I was already a little bit tan and I was out in the sun a lot anyway, but it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's very, it's very um, moisturizing. I really enjoyed the feel of it. Would I buy it again? Probably not, but it, it was a nice try. I enjoyed using this. Okay, I got one hair product. Uh, actually, I should have the shampoo of this too, um, but I'm not sure where I put it, but I finished both the shampoo and the conditioner of Old Tray. So this is with CBD. It's uh, intense hydration, repair hydration. The conditioner you should use on wet hair after you applied the shampoo 
and then only uh, down from mid to mid strand to to your ends. So this is an intense daily conditioner. It does reduce frizz a little bit. I found that to be true. It calms irritations and hydrate stre hydrates stressed out strands. So this is vegan and it's free of sulfates, parabens, gluten, and DMDMH. And it's, um, I felt like this was a little bit heavy on my hair, like it really weighed it down a little bit. So I do think it was very moisturizing. It was very rich and maybe I just overused it, but um, it's not alcohol free, by the way, there is alcohol in it. So if you don't like using alcohol, this is not for you. But other than that, it's, it's a rich, um, it's a rich uh, set of shampoo and conditioner, um, but it, I probably won't be repurchasing this again. Another thing I I finished up is this um, this makeup setting spray from Ciate London. It's the watermelon burst. Loved it in the summer. Loved using this in the summer. The watermelon scent. I love the scent of watermelon. It, it was subtle. Nothing to me seems extreme. So if I ever say on my channel that something had a really extreme scent, then you better run because that it is extreme. Because I am not super sensitive to smell. If um, something has just a light smell, to me that's very pleasant, unless I don't like the specific smell. But everything is subtle to me, so I don't. Ha I'm not super sensitive to to scent. This was nice, super refreshing in the summer. Absolutely love this. I will buy this again for next summer. So currently, I'm using a different setting spray. That's a mist. This is more like a spray. Like you, it's just refreshing, super refreshing. Great. Loved this. Okay, so let's move on to some makeup products. I have this uh, foundation here from CoverGirl, the Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF of 20. So I did not finish this up because when I recently filmed a video, I was using this foundation and I realized that it expired a year and a half ago. So I did repurchase it, I replaced it because I love this foundation so much. It's a drugstore foundation, as you know, so it's inexpensive. It's medium coverage. Um, you don't have to build it up to medium coverage. You just, it's just something I like about this foundation that you just throw it on with, no, don't throw it on. Tap it on with your beauty sponge or however you apply makeup. Um, and it, it looks great. I mean, it's, um, you don't have to build it up. Um, it's, it's, it's a really nice foundation for a drugstore. I enjoy using this. I use this in Soft Honey, which is 355. And it also says it has an inbuilt primer and the coverage of a concealer. So they claim it's more like, probably more like full coverage. You could probably build it up to full if you wanted to. It's very blendable and shine free. So I like my matte foundations, as you guys know. So this is a really lovely drugstore foundation. Can recommend this. Now, I also finished up a couple of primers this um, in this last round uh, of um, empties, in this round of empties. So I have one really light primer, the one from Bare Minerals, Bare Skin. I honestly don't even know if this is still available, but it says it's a complete coverage serum concealer. So it's very lightweight. Um, I really like using this for the summer because it's just, it was perfect. It was also the perfect color for me. I have a medium, so I don't know if you can see this on my hand. It's, it's kind of dried out now because I've had this for a long time and it's also empty, mostly. So that was nice. Uh, I'm not sure if that's still available. I, I'll, go, I'll try to find it and for you guys and link it down below. Then I have the opposite of that light coverage concealer. I have the Tarte, which I know you guys know, the Shape Tape Glow Wand Concealer. So this is a very popular concealer, full coverage concealer. And this is actually probably one of the best full coverage concealers to, that's out there. So it, it's really nice. I like Tarte products. Um, they're great. And I will be repurchasing this again, just so I have a full coverage concealer at home. And yeah, that's great. 
Then I have two nail products from OPI. And this is basically from the Infinite Shine series. So I have the primer and I have the Gloss Brilliance or the top coat. So these are not, I did not finish these up, but look, I don't know if you can see this. So there's still a little bit left, probably about one third of the bottle is still full, but this has gotten so thick. This, I can't get anything out, even if I tap it, if I lay it on the side, if I keep it on the, you know, upside down for a while, it just will not budge. It's too hard to get out. So this is very disappointing that, um, yeah, that these products actually did go bad. So it's, I also, um, when they were still usable, I was never super impressed with this Infinite Shine series, to be honest. I have several nail polishes from OPI and I, it was my understanding that they were supposed to last me about a week or maybe even longer and they never did. Um, I don't have any nail polish on right now to show you, but not my favorite brand, to be honest. Um, yeah, like I like Soya or Essie, but yeah, I will not be purchasing these again. Then I have another flop, another fail. And this is something a little bit different. It's from Uncle Bud's um, Tropical Pain Relief with Hemp Oil. Looks like this. I bought this because I saw an actress talk about this. What's her name? Jane Fonda, maybe? Who's that lady that plays in... Um, in the, in the Netflix series, Frankie and I'm completely drawing a blank right now. What is that Netflix series called? Frankie and something, those two older ladies and one of them, is it Jane Fonda? I thought, so this was promoted by an actress. Can't really remember her name. She's on that show, Frankie, Frankie something on Netflix, the two ladies, Grace and Frankie, I think it's called. Yeah, she's one of those ladies. She promoted this. I read an article about her, how she is an ambassador and this is really good. It has coconut in it and has hemp oil in it. And it's supposed to help to relieve pain from arthritis, which I, you guys know I have in my neck and my shoulder. It's supposed to relieve pain from backache, muscle and joint pain. No, mm -mm. honestly, no doesn't do a thing, at least it didn't do anything to me. So it was kind of a disappointment. So this was kind of a disappointment. Um, no, didn't do a thing. Sorry, um, Jane Fonda, I believe, is playing Grace or Frankie. Okay, so no, this is not, um, this was not, I didn't, um, yeah, this is not what I expected, didn't do a thing. I enjoy my TENS unit, which I posted a review about recently. That works much better for arthritis pain and for muscle pain. So I would really skip this and for say for sure that this didn't do a thing for me, not buying it again. So this already completes all my empties. Um, they're going to go right to the trash and I'm going to start fresh and start collecting items for you guys again. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you subscribe. I post videos like this all the time and I will see you in my next video. Thank you and goodbye.